Hey everyone, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today, guys, I'm so excited to bring you my brand new uh, gaming, mining, editing laptop. And uh, I'm really excited about this. Um, I just did buy this laptop brand new. And we're going to be checking out the overclocks and uh, power consumption and what I'm really getting out of it. And I also like to make a really big announcement uh, that uh, in the last uh, few days, uh, we just finished the mining chamber uh, crash, crash sale slash meetup. And it was so much fun, guys. And I, I was so honored to uh, meet uh, So Cannon from Mining Chamber and so many other people from the community. Uh, it was so nice to meet everyone. And I'm actually wearing a t-shirt today from Mining Chamber. Um, you could take a look, gamers hate us, very funny t-shirt, and also Mining Chamber logo on the uh, sleeve here you can see, and I really love his merch. And he's actually having a promotion right now going on where basically he's having a sale on all of his merch, merch on his website, and I'm gonna be putting the link down below. And also on top of the sale, if you buy a hoodie and the jogging pants, you get a free t-shirt, so another promotion. And on top of all that, he's gonna be choosing uh, five winners that are gonna be getting $50 in crypto each. So another great reason, if you love uh, Mining Chamber and his merchandise, go check it out. And also, I mean, I just wanna vouch for the quality of the clothing, very, very nice quality, really soft stuff, just makes you wanna like live in the clothing almost. And a little bit of a sort of stretchy fabric as well, so sort of a new style of clothing. Uh, I absolutely love the designs of all of them and uh, I'm really honored uh, to be wearing them. So without any further ado guys, uh, let's check out what's up. What a nice looking box. Nice and sealed here. Uh, I can't wait to break into this. Whew. So we just got my new laptop unboxed and wow, it is just, the screen is so thin. It has like a really thin edge design. Uh, it's pretty light for a gaming laptop uh, and mining laptop with this much power. And I really like the red accents here. And it says Nitro there. Uh, it's made by Acer, as we were saying. and. I've actually had uh, and currently still have an Acer laptop and I've had other Acer laptops before and they just seem to last forever. I, I know it's maybe not the absolute most premium brand out there of laptop, but I mean, I'm really always happy with an Acer laptop. We're gonna have to see if I'm happy with this one. I love the red accent around the mouse pad here and uh, I can't wait to get this guy uh, turned on. Okay, now we are going to attempt to turn this on for the very first time. Oh, that's a good sign. I like those lights on the keyboard. Very nice. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Okay. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there. Sort of convincing. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows Control. Now I'm just going to set up this computer quickly. Okay, so it's finally uh, getting everything ready for me, it says. It's going to take a few minutes, uh, but it's uh, setting up here. And wow, it just looks so sleek and I love it. 
and uh, now I actually have the computer on for the first time and these screen colors are just oh they're they're incredible they're gorgeous it's it's a really really nice whew, thin crazy thin screen here and just the colors wow very very nice we are back in the crypto mining studio and we've got our uh, mining laptop here mining away on ethereum then we've got some uh, mining news popping up and uh, some real-time prices and then we've got our mining PC over here mining away at 62.29 mega hash right now 62.3 and then in the corner over here we've got our six gigabyte RX 580s, uh, all eight gigabyte models m hashing away as well. And it's getting mighty hot in here as it's summertime. And here we go, getting about 173 mega hash right now on this guy. And we're going to be actually moving this unit out. Uh, and we're going to be putting a test rig here because it's a little bit too hot to have six uh, RX 580s hashing away and we're going to be moving this to this rig to another mining location so here we are and we got msi afterburner running and we're going to be using a t-rex miner today so we're going to open our t-rex miner and i'm going to be using nano pool and we're going to check out the uh, wattage and power consumption and overclocking on this 1660 Ti. So here we go. We're running about 103 watts, 104 watts when we just start mining. And we're just gonna let this uh, generate the DAG and we're gonna check out uh, what kind of power we're getting. So it takes a little while to uh, generate this 4.3 gigabyte DAG and there it goes, it got it generated. And now we can see over here, we're pulling about 111, 112. Oh, and there we go, 113 watts uh, for the laptop, oh, 114. So it's sort of bouncing around a little. Uh, I would take an average of about 112, 113 watts. And still sort of starting up our mining. And right now, uh, we can see uh, it's getting about, it's only at about 66, 65 degrees Celsius. And that's actually pretty cool. We're gonna open up here. I'm actually using uh, NitroSense. It came with the Acer um, Nitro laptop, basically a fan controlling software. So there's a fan in the GPU. We see it spinning here about 4109 RPM. I'm using the cool boost. I've got that option on. And you can see the CPU fan is running a little bit lower. And also, additionally, to cool this uh, laptop, I found that if I was mining without a laptop cooling pad, I was getting some pretty high temperatures, about 74, 75 degrees. So I just bought uh, from Amazon a little cooling mat. You got all kinds of fans under here. And it's actually also drawing power off a laptop. So maybe it's taking a few watts uh, extra for the cooling mat. And as we can see over here, we're, yeah, we're about 111, 112, 113 watts still. And now we are hashing away at 23.78 mega hash. And that's just the stock settings. Now we're gonna apply what I found to be the most efficient overclocks so far with the laptop. I have them saved here. So I'll be putting the, the uh, overclocks in the description down below. We just changed it to minus 450 on the core clock and plus 760 on the memory clock. I hope you guys can see that. And now we're gonna see what it will change to, but it'll be very interesting to see that I've actually over, already over applied the overclocks and we're still getting the same power consumption. So our power consumption is not really going up. You're getting about the exact same thing. And let's just wait and see. Uh, what we can see here already, our mega hash are going up. So they've gone from about 23.86 to 25.41.
and it's not finished going up. It's gonna take a few more seconds here. We're gonna see our final hash rate with the overclock applied. And I've experimented with some higher overclocks and I was actually getting about almost 30 mega hash out of the card, but I found that after a day or two, I mean, it would crash and, oh, we just see it went up a little bit more. Now we're at 26.73 mega hash there and it's actually gonna continue going up, I believe. But when I had it set at about 30 mega hash, uh, I found it was crashing. So I'd rather have a consistent good hash rate than fight for an extra couple mega hash and have the machine crash and not operational half of the time. So I always go for a, more of a consistent, reasonable hash rate. And here we go. Now we're getting about 27.21 and that's about what I'm getting out of the card. So as we can see here, still about 112 watts, so not too bad. And uh, that's the uh, most efficient overclock settings I've found so far. So let's see if it changes at all. 27.21, we might get a little bit higher of a fraction of a mega hash. Uh, oh, there we go, 27.21, now that's about it. So guys, 27.21 mega hash at about 111, 112, 113 watts. We'll call it 112. 112 watts for 27.21 mega hash. And the reason why I bought this laptop over some of the 30 series laptops is people were only getting, some people were only getting about 35 mega hash on the 3060s or higher. Some people got higher, it depends really on the model. And I mean, that was a, a much more expensive machine. I got this machine for a steal uh, from uh, Canada Computers actually. Uh, and I got it on sale for uh, $1,000 Canadian or about $750, $800 US. The uh, US dollar keeps on changing. Um, but I mean, I got this also as personal gaming uh, laptop and a work laptop, and uh, I, re I really love it. I love the uh, extremely thin screen here. I mean, it's gorgeous, portable. I love the red and the black. And also, I mean, the keyboard lights up all in red. I love that. And it's, uh, it's truly a gorgeous machine. I'm gonna enjoy it for many years to come. Thanks everyone for watching Brandcoin today. And if you haven't already subscribed to Mining Chamber and Brandcoin, please do so right away. Again, his link will be down in the description below. And he is an absolutely excellent, incredible YouTuber. And I think the most, maybe one of the most informative and easy to understand at the same time, uh, YouTube crypto YouTubers. So definitely go check him out and subscribe to Mining Chamber as well. And we'll see all you guys in the next episode. Follow white rabbit. I'm taking.